I set up the Maths and Science Leadership Academy in 2006 to address the crisis in maths and science education. South Africa is really going through a huge education crisis, especially with regard to maths and science education. Um, recent results have shown that we are nearly at the bottom compared to many countries around the world. The Maths and Science Leadership Academy is a direct response to these challenges. But if you look at this one, look at we try to inspire children to have a passion for maths and science. And secondly, we provide these children with ongoing academic support so that they can access STEM-related careers and they can go on to, be, uh, to grow the knowledge-based economy for the province and also to be the hope of their families. Mainstream supported MSLA because we were struck so much by the passion of the team involved in teaching these students and the very important impact that they were making on these students' lives that the students themselves were able to articulate. And it was maths and science, which is what we do in renewable energy and makes sense from our business perspective that it, those are skills that we're looking for and we're keen to support. The majority of children participating in our programs come from very poor backgrounds. I'm actually the first person in my family to go to university. My mom, she didn't finish school. My aim of studying agricultural economics is so that I can teach people how to sustain land. I got five distinctions, 96% in math and 97% in accounting. So basically I'm the first in my, in my family to go to university. We were a group of students who had so similar minds of just wanting to achieve in life, just wanting to mm, get our families to a better place, to get ourselves to a better place. If there are not enough maths and science graduates, we will not have enough engineers. We will definitely not have enough doctors. We won't have enough accountants. And if we don't have more students in that pool, how will we ever address the high rates of poverty in this country. I live in a four-home house uh, with about six of my cousins and our caregivers are our two aunts. I do see myself becoming a successful engineer in South Africa and also passing on the qualities of good engineering to future generations. I had a very difficult background to growing up as a child. Sometimes I felt that you know, I, I didn't deserve to be here. I was here by mistake. I didn't get time to study at home because my mom was always drunk. MSLA has been my biggest inspiration. It's like a family that I thought I'd never have in my life. They've really held us to great standards. It has inspired me. I want to be a successful biochemist. I come from a family from a very poor background, uh, a family of seven. Going to school sometimes, not having something to eat. As a young boy, I had a lot of pain. At times, I tried to kill myself. After joining MSLA, I got that passion for maths and science. When I get into a maths class, it's like I'm in the home. And it gave me vision, it gave me uh, something to dream for. My goal is to become a medical doctor. My mother is unemployed. I don't know the whereabouts of my father. We all depend on my grandmother's pension. It's me, my sister and my other two cousins. MSL has helped me to see that I have the potential and that since I've in joining MSLA, my marks have really improved a lot. Whenever I was tempted to give up, um, they will encourage me and motivate me to keep on going on. MSLA is like my second family. They are my, my mothers here. First and foremost, we provide them with a home. So the children who come here, they know that they are safe. They're in a warm and loving environment. Every time they are here, they get something to eat. They don't only get good teachers. And then we also give children opportunities to develop uh, skills. We have a little computer lab 
and we set the children challenges. They have to enter the ESCOM Expo project every year. It was through MSLA that I've been exposed to the ESCOM Expo. My first day I did a project. I was in my mother's kitchen and she was cooking. And on the, on the stove she had different types of pots. And then I thought, what if I could find out which type of material is much, that could boil much quicker between the three different types of materials. And that was the project from my expo. And then I got a silver medal. And then this year I did another project based on energy again. And in regionals I got best development project and I got a gold medal. The students that attend the Maths and Science Academy, their marks have improved quite substantially. There are two that are currently working at Katu Mine. There are several engineers and one is an electrical engineer. As a result of the Maths and Science Academy, our learners are becoming professionals. Coming from a school that was very disadvantaged in terms of Maths and Science, it opened my mind to a lot of possibilities, you know, careers in Maths and Science that, that I couldn't think of just being stuck at school. The day I spent shadowing the doctor in the hospital, I developed a passion to help my community. I'm going to be that different nurse who's going to love their job. You know, do it passionately with your whole heart and so that people can see that this person really wants to make a difference in our community. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do everything in my power. I'm going to go out there and every opportunity I get to go and study, I'll, I'll grab it with both my hands and, and I'll do it. I'm the top learner at my school. So that is the, the best thing that has ever happened to me. It has really inspired me to be, you know, to be able to think out of the box, be my own person, irrespective of the people that I have around. It's not where you come from that matters, but actually where you're going. I feel very positive about my future. I think my future is really, really bright. Coming here, it's, it's, it's a privilege. I wouldn't like um, exchange it for anything. We're really grateful to Mainstream for having opened their hearts and for adopting 60 grade uh, nine children in 2011 and for having seen them right through to matric this year. That was really something very special.